Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London, welcome to the City of London, and welcome to the Tower of London. We're all delighted to see you here today. Both as Lord Mayor and myself as a child of the Commonwealth, born in Malaysia, schooled in Singapore, and before a career in national and international banking, which is why I feel at home here, in the most global city on the planet, renowned for its incredible richness in diversity and talent. Talent comprising 270 nationalities, including 30,000 New Zealanders in London, 60,000 across the country. It's a good percentage of the population, actually, isn't it? We're delighted to welcome you here a few more for one of the most exciting events in the global calendar. We in the UK are so proud to host the 2015 World Rugby Cup, commencing in one week today. Here in the UK, ask anybody on the street which team springs into their mind when you say rugby. Whether they're fans of the sport or not, almost everyone, after patriotically mentioning their own country, England, Scotland, Wales or Ireland, they will all say, the All Blacks, you are the icons of the sport. So it's a great honour to host you here at London's, one of London's most famous icons in itself, the Tower of London, known for its gory past as a place of execution, incarceration, and for the worst of crimes, such as inconveniently occupying the throne when someone else had wanted it. <laughs> Today, it's the home of the Crown Jewels, you've already heard. It's not, sadly, going to include the Web Ellis Trophy. Not yet, anyway. But New Zealand has been such worthy winners on two occasions, most recently 2011. And you are such a joy to watch. We cannot begrudge you your very deserving wins. The All Blacks are an inspiration to their countrymen, to the Commonwealth, and to the wider world. Giants of the sport and sportsmanship, and we all take great pride in your success. Congratulations on all you've achieved, and we'll go on to achieve. And on behalf of us all here in the City of London, it gives me great pleasure to present you with a token of our estimation. Now, on considering what gift to present, we went back through the archives looking for past encounters between your mayors and New Zealand. We discovered that 1885, at the annual Lord Mayor Show, a mile-long parade that goes through the streets of London, was gate-crashed by some enterprising meat salesmen from New Zealand. They forced their way into the procession with a cart, carcasses and ballerine, New Zealand frozen mutton, meat for the future. They made front page news and sold it all at a premium. Then in 1931, the Lord Mayor, who also serves, just in case you didn't know, as the Admiral of the Port of London, but led a state occasion on the river, that's the River Thames, with full naval honours, to welcome the first New Zealand cheese fleet. I've been working very hard on this. <laughs> Apparently, a man read out a poem about cheese. Now, sadly, we couldn't find a pair. I know you're disappointed, uh, so you've got me on the head. But I decided not to present you with the mutton and cheese, as you clearly have got both of those, and nothing of them in New Zealand. However, please accept a, a few seconds of this. Are you going to present this to the This pewter bowl with the, uh, my fanny coat of arms on and announcing the fact it was given to you by the Lord Mayor of London. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. So I think Richard's going to say a few words if you'd like to. <laughs> Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, um, can I just say on behalf of the Rubik team and management, um, thank you for the, for the great welcome uh, here to England. I think as a player, you know, the World Cups get talked about a lot in the lead up, but I guess as players you don't really... Uh, want to talk too much about it until you actually get uh, given a ticket to get on the plane and uh, 
I know the excitement um, you know, in the back of our minds has been building for a long time, but to uh, actually get on the plane a few the wrong day ago now and, uh, and get ourselves over here and, and, and feel the excitement building um, is, uh, is what it's all about. And I think just watching uh, some highlights of our previous tournaments, that certainly uh, heightens the expectation and anticipation of what, uh, what the World Cup's all about. So um, it's just awesome to, uh, to finally be here. We're really looking forward to getting started. And I know that um, the tournament will be uh, outstanding. I just think back to four years ago in New Zealand. Um, perhaps as players, they don't appreciate it too much, but to see the, the joy it gave all the people of New Zealand, uh, what the tournament did, um, I'm sure if it's something like that here, and if it's going to even be better, then it's going to be one hell of a uh, two months for the people of, uh, of England, but also all the people that come in. I know there's plenty of uh, Kiwis uh, on their way over here, so we're uh, really looking forward to having those uh, 60,000 supporters wherever we uh, end up playing. I know we've got two games here in London and then Wales and Newcastle, but to have that support, uh, we're looking forward to that. And hopefully we can uh, get out and, uh, and meet some of them. And tomorrow, we've got a chance, before we get into the serious rugby stuff, to, we're doing a bit of sponsored work, but a chance to get around London and see some people, see some sights, and uh, I guess get a bit of jet lag and, uh, and I, I guess get the feel of uh, what the World Cup's all about because I think that uh, certainly is something special as a player is uh, when the hype starts to build and um, you know, I think get off the plane and see the weather like this which you don't normally get in November but being here a bit earlier, if we can have this for, uh, for out, throughout the tournament we'll be pretty happy so uh, well, if we can order that that'd be, uh, that'd be great. <laughs> but, um, seriously the, the First game we've got next Sunday against Argentina. Um, I know our team uh, realised that uh, you know you got 